Hello everyone, I am Ling Geng from Singapore University of Technology and Design, and today I will be presenting about our paper titled Token Boosting for Robust Self-Supervised Visual Transformer Pre-Training. We first have a preview of the paper. Data corruptions in real-world scenarios can interfere with the learning of representations during self-supervised pre-training, leading to unreliable features and predictions in downstream tasks. Examples of such corruptions can include images in adverse weather conditions, skeleton data collected with a post-tracking algorithm, and in, also in collected depth images. Therefore, we propose a token boosting module, TBM, to improve the robustness of visual transformers against unreliable and corrupted data during the pre-training process without the uncorrupted ground truths. We also provide analysis to theoretically demonstrate that our TBM can indeed encourage the learning of cleaner features and tokens during mass autoencoding pre-training. First, we briefly introduce mass autoencoding. Mass autoencoding is a prominent self-supervised pre-training approach that has been widely explored. It works by randomly masking a portion of input tokens or patches and letting the visual transformer reconstruct them. Due to its natural compatibility with the token-wise representation in visual transformers, mass autoencoding has been explored for pre-training visual transformers on data across many fields, such as RGB images, post data, and 3D data. Specifically, we designed a novel token boosting module, namely TBM, to learn to extract reliable features from corrupted and unreliable data during the self-supervised pre-training process of visual transformers. The TBM can be easily incorporated into multiple layers of visual transformers, and then the TBMs can be trained in an end-to-end -end manner along with the visual transformer, improving robustness and performance on corrupted data. Let R, okay, firstly, uh, next we describe the motivation of TBM. Let R represent the ground truth labo features. We are unable to directly observe the reliable feature R, but are able to observe the unreliable feature F, which is extracted from a real input sample. Importantly, this means that we are unable to simply train a module with direct supervision to produce R from F. Therefore, we aim to estimate the reliable feature R hat with only access to F during training. First, we are, next, we assume that uh, the difference between R and F can be modeled by a feature perturbation P which is randomly drawn from a distribution P. We have, in other words, we have F equals to R plus P. Given F, we create an intermediate representation I equals to F plus Q with a sample synthetic corruption Q. Learnable alpha is introduced to learn the standard deviation parameters of the synthetic corruptions, which tries to match P. Importantly, P and Q are IID. Thus, they are indistinguishable to an observer which also means that expectation of Q given I is equal to expectation of P given I. Also, we add an autoencoder G that tries to recover the original F from I, producing estimates F hat. After some rearranging, we can get an estimate of the relative feature R hat using R hat is equal to 2 F hat minus I. Please see more details, please see more details in the paper. In summary, we can place TBM at multiple layers of the visual transformer. This allows us to use contextual information at multiple layers to additionally boost the quality of features. At each layer, the TBM takes in unreliable feature F, in other words, all the tokens of that layer, and then it is trained to produce an estimate of reliable feature R hat, which is more reliable than F, and this R hat is fed into the next visual transformer layer. However, one key question remains. Can the TBM be meaningfully trained under the mass autoencoding pre-training objective? This is not immediately straightforward, especially since both the inputs and the reconstruction targets during such pre-training are unreliable. Thus, we provide theoretical analysis to show that the robustness capabilities of TBM can be learned during the self-supervised mass autoencoding pre-training. Please see the paper for more details. Our TBM is a plug and play model module for backward models. Thus, during the self-supervised pre-training process, our TBM is optimized with the L2 loss to optimize the autoencoder G together with the pre-training objective. Then, after self-supervised pre-training, following existing settings, we freeze the backbone network and conduct linear probing to evaluate. To evaluate TBM, we first run experiments on image classification. We follow ImageNet-C, which is 
a corruption benchmark to add various synthetic corruptions on training image data. And then we test on the evaluation benchmark of ImageNet C. Our method yields improvements across all tested transformer backbones. We also evaluate on the real world data set. We self supervise pre train on two different data sets NTU RGBD 60 and NTU RGBD 120, and test with a linear probing. We also obtain good results here. Lastly, we also evaluate the depth image classification task, which is another task using real world corrupted data as deaf images can be noisy. We also show good results here. This brings me to the end of the presentation. Thank you very much for your kind attention.